Hey guys, uh, everyone's home today, so I am recording in my room. I got some camels for you guys, because you guys really seem to be liking. So I'm trying different cigarettes, different brands of cigarettes. So after work one night, I stopped and grabbed these bad boys. I already went through most of them, so I don't have a lot left. I still have painting tape on my wall. I have my dog right next to me. I just got out of the shower. Got out of the shower, did my makeup. I worked a 10 hour shift last night. I'm so tired, but I made good money. So I'm happy. Go ahead, camera. Go ahead, camera. Maybe. My precious girl. I try to keep the cigarette as far away from her as possible. I try to not even smoke in my room right now, Carrie. But since everybody is out in the living room right now, hey, big girl. Snip the ashtray. You don't want the ashtray. That bitch. She's like trying to snip the ashtray. No, Billy, you don't need the ashtray. She keeps trying to snip it. Get out of the ashtray. Oh, there's a piece of gum in there. Go. Go. You got it. Sorry, guys. Oh. My dog's my best friend. I love her so much. I think I'm gonna go to Walmart. I got my brakes done. My dad finally finished the front ones and the back ones, so I have all new brakes. Thank God. No problems. Thank God. I really like work so far, though. I really like all my coworkers so far. Oh, I'm gonna try to record at least another camel crush clip for you guys. At least. Um, I just put a poll. You, it'll probably, by the time this video is posted, it's probably gonna be way late. But I posted a poll to see what brand of cigarettes you guys want me to pick next. So I guess we'll see. I think the choices were um, Marv 27s, Camel Crushes, um, American Spirits, or Natural Spirits, or American Spirits, um, and l &Ms. I think it's natural spirits, not American spirits, actually. I'm gonna go to the store and then I'll probably just be hanging out at home the rest of the day, honestly. It's my day off. So I'm honestly just trying to relax and not really do anything. I finally made a hair appointment for this week, but 
I'm working, so I have to reschedule. I was really excited about getting my hair done. But I'll reschedule and make another appointment. Because I still really need to get it done. I really just want to say how grateful I am to you guys. I really have the best fans. I saw a comment saying, wow, these are the most positive. This is the most positive comment section in a smoking video I've ever seen. And it's true. Because you guys are so non-judgmental and you guys are just so fucking amazing. Like, I really am so grateful. I have the best fan base. I really do. I'm so grateful for you guys. And I appreciate every single one of you. Every single view I get, I do greatly appreciate. So I just want to take a second to tell you guys that and how, to tell you how appreciate I am. appreciative of you I am. The only thing about camel crushes is they burn really fast. And they're not hundreds, which, you know, I'm not really a fan of. And they do burn really quick. So I don't get them a lot because you're smoking a whole bunch of them because how, of how fast they burn. I'll save at least one or two more cigarettes out of this pack for a video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back. Much love. Hey guys, sorry my phone fell and it shut off. Does that all the time? Fell from the little stand up here. I really need to get my nails fixed. It bothers me really bad. I made two English classes in a row. I got my brakes fixed, the front and the back, thankfully. Because they were pretty bad. They were getting really bad. So, they really needed to be done. I was telling my dad for weeks that they needed to be done. And he's a mechanic. But he was taking his sweet time because he's so busy. But he finally did. Of course, I had to pay for him. I had to give him my entire paycheck. My entire first paycheck. Oh, is his truck dead in the intersection? Dude, his truck's clearly dead. Like, this guy's honking on the horn because this guy's not moving. His truck's clearly not working. There you go. See what I mean, guys? I, the cigarette's like gone already. It's crazy. So I like them, but they burn really fast, so they're really not worth the money. And especially the gas station I went to to buy these, I think I spent like 11 something dollars at least on these. So I got cigarettes and milk, and it came out to like $15. So yeah, it's ridiculous. I think that's probably why I stopped buying these. Camel menthols were my cigarette, or camel silvers. Those were my cigarettes for years. and. I stopped smoking them probably because they're so expensive. I was smoking them when they were like seven, eight dollars a pack. Now they're like ten, eleven dollars. I gotta say, I just can't justify spending that much money every day on cigarettes, you know? I know she like to see the filter. Cigarette's gone. I'm about to get Dunkin' Donuts, so I will see you guys later. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Love so. Hey guys, I just got out of school. I am on my way to my dispensary appointment. Yeah. I have three camels left. Sorry, my I recorded earlier and only I the first half didn't record, so you guys only can see the second half. Yeah, my phone dropped and then I recorded my second half, but I guess the first half was never even recorded.
recording in the first place, so I apologize for that. Camel crushes. Like I said, I keep saying, I don't, I like them, but they, they burn so fast. It's like not worth it. Like, if you have disposable money, then sure, go for it. But if you're looking for a cigarette that you'll get the most out of, this ain't it. I'm writing a five-page personal narrative for my writing class. I'm writing about, like, the things I've been through in my life. I'm not really going to specify. Basically, my life story leading up to like one big event. So yeah, it's bringing up a lot of bad memories. But I mean, this is my life. This is what happened. This is you know something that I can write a lot about because a lot has happened. You know, it's, there's a lot that I can write about. I'm only supposed to be writing four to five pages, and I'm already past five pages, so I have to cut a bunch of stuff out. I've always been a pretty good writer. When I was like 11, I wrote like a 300 page book. It was like three, 400 pages, it was a lot. And I spilled soda on my computer and lost all of it. All 400 pages. I was young, I didn't know what, like a backup or flash drives or, you know, I was young. All four, three, 400 pages gone. And I tried to rewrite it, but I was writing that book over like a year, so when I started to rewrite it, it wasn't as good as the first one, and then I just kind of lost interest because I was like, it's never going to be as good as the first one I wrote. And then I've never really written anything as long as that since. I would literally, I was like 11, 12 years old, staying up all night writing this book. Nobody in my family knew I was writing this book because I didn't want them to read it because, I don't know, I'm weird like that. I feel like people are going to judge it in the wrong way or something. I don't know what I thought, but I was young and I didn't want people to read it. So I kept it to myself and I would stay up all night writing this book. And now it's gone. So it's been gone for a long time. But yeah, I'll never forget that. I was heartbroken, guys. I was literally... That was like my blood, sweat, and tears in that book, you know? I, I spent a lot of time on that book. I don't know why I started writing a book in the first place. I was young. Not really a big writer. I mean, like, I used to have, like, a journal. Where, like, I would doodle it and write little, little tidbits about my life and stuff. But I don't really do it anymore. filled up one of my journals and then I just never wrote another one.
it seems to think that this car isn't going to last me in two years, so I need to save up for a car. So donations, greatly appreciated. you guys but I found out I got approved for another scholarship and nobody told me I didn't get an email a letter nothing so I got approved for another scholarship so I'm actually gonna be getting money back from financial aid instead of having to pay off the rest of my $300 which is great news I, don't, I didn't probably didn't tell you guys this but yeah I still owed $300 towards my tuition and now I owe nothing and I'm gonna get a pretty nice sized check back from financial aid so that's super exciting because you know, I don't have to pay off the rest of my tuition. <laughs> I put like $600 down, so I'll be getting that money back and then some. Which is awesome. It'll be a big help. I don't know why. My phone falls all the time. Alright guys, I'm about to be at the dispensary. My cigarette's gone. This might be the end of the video, it might not. So maybe I'll see you guys later. Much love.